Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire on a very dank, drizzly, rainy, autumnal day. I'm in uh, the Oyster Rooms, uh, Office One, where it all started for me in London. I'm in the Oyster Rooms in Fulham Broadway, up above Fulham Broadway Underground Station. First floor, up the escalator, right in front of you. Well worth the visit. It's a nice pub, believe me. It's actually a Lloyd's. If that means anything to you. Lloyd's is part of Weatherspoons, the Weatherspoons group. I'm about to recite uh, my latest poem. So, I suppose it's to do with myself. That it definitely is. And what it's like to be overwhelmed by PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder and yet um, still able to cope with so many things. It's called life or death. If only it were just his head injury, maybe he could cope. He riddled with arthritis, unpleasant and painful, but with gritted teeth bearable. His heart attacks, however unpleasant, manageable. The surprised knowledge of his bicuspid valve, his multiple stents shortened life expectancy, even breathlessness, though life-threatening, not beyond the realms of survival. All efforts he felt were his to cry. The medications, their many side effects, all challenging. The dizzy episodes, immense fatigue, the constant coughing, his sleeplessness, all attributable ailments, all part of his daily rituals. The many losses forced upon him, the hours of solitude and loneliness, all overtime conquered with humble resignation, all doable and within his scope, even without a lack of love. But the unprecedented number of attacks upon himself, the vicious onslaughts, his nocturnal lifestyle, coupled to his wakening and nightmares, constant flashbacks reminding him of near death, all too much for him to bear. His coping mechanisms, so easily breached due to the fraying of his nerves. With his brain scrambled, he is a quivering wreck. Unable to cope, work or think, he is overwhelmed by mortal dread. Meaning, he finds himself trapped, imprisoned in a mental cul-de-sac. Time and time again, playing pinball against the buffers, tossing a coin, completely traumatized, wondering which route he should choose. Just remind you there that the title was Life or Death. Shall we jump one?